Alright, so here we are in Michigan at US 131. Look, I've been to Michigan like one time with Chris Derrick back in the day, but it wasn't at this facility. This facility is amazing, it's big, it's huge, and uh, look, I can't wait to race here. race day we parked in the parking lot of us 131 until they parked us the toter got flooded the trailer got water in it like it was miserable probably 10 out of 15 rigs were stuck in the mud and uh chuck with the old dually four-wheel drive pulled out every single one of them anyway it rained until like late friday night so automatically they canceled the event for friday move everything to saturday and sunday and the start time is like 7 a.m like look I haven't been up at 7 a.m. since I was in high school, and I'm pretty sure I didn't get up at 7 a.m. then, so uh, this is going to be a rough-ass weekend on this old man. We get the cars ready, it stops raining, we are slopping around in the mud, but it is hard as hell on these cars. All these cars run on methanol, alcohol, um, and look, they don't want to start. When it's cold, they don't want to start. A lot of guys will, will put carburetor cleaner or something in there to get it to fire off. So with 50 to 60 weight oil, then the methanol, and then it being, you know, 35, 40 degrees outside, I had to crank on mine. Come on, baby. Um, and then when it starts, it's got fuel in the cylinders, and it just they're just pissed off until you get some heat in it. in race your way in there's only 32 spots there's 26 guys that are confirmed in the invitation and there's another 15 or 20 guys trying to get in for example you know ryan martin comes to this track he's already in he gets to make like four test passes if you're in race your way in you get one test pass and then you have to race to get in and look there's not ducks in there we drew bodie for the first round of race your way in bodie has struggled against me his car is super fast but for whatever reason, uh, if we have to pedal and it's a pedal fest, Bodie just hasn't got it done against me. Got the biker crew over there.
line up, we leave. I see Bodie out of my periphery on the entire pass. We get out on the big end. I have to pedal mine. He has to pedal his, and uh, I end up coming away with the win. There's guys out there that I can race. I know I'm faster, and I can't beat him. Because Bodie's car is fast as hell, and he is frustrated. And every time he lines up with me, he said, man, Chuck, we tried this. We shouldn't have tried it. Quit trying stuff. Just do what you normally do. Your car is fast, and let's race. So anyway, we're off to round two. We draw Disco Dean, which is a captain of our team. some power to race Disco Dean. We end up hitting the bars too hard and knocking the tires off right off the line and now we have to rely on drawing a lucky chip. Daddy Dave is the only person that's good at drawing so I'm gonna have my daughter draw the chip and see if we get the invitation. We get in and while we're up there we draw for the invitation. We draw um, Rankin for the first round. Um, I go back over there and tell my guys hey look we gotta put the car back together and they're like well we got a problem. The turbo bracket actually broke which separated the o-ring clamp that lets it have a little bit of movement um, of course nobody in the pits has one we ask everybody rankin normally has one i normally have a spare um, i don't have my semi with me this weekend because my truck driver broke his leg so all we can do is put the clamp back together half of it's missing but we put a bunch of zip ties on it and keep this clamp together i thought at least if we had a chance you know do a burnout get on the two-step and I figured if it would just go half track, maybe something would happen to rank in or we could get a win and get one round win. And we go up there, we do the burnout, we get on the two step and, and everything's good. We let go of the button and this thing goes 10 feet. And as soon as it started making boost, of course it blew the pipe apart. Um, zip ties are not as strong as a metal clamp and uh, we put a bunch of them on it too. So uh, we got the loss and uh, ranking goes on. And all we can do is order parts and get the car ready for the next event. So look, Blaze is in my pits like every single race. And uh, he's asked to work for me, so I told him I'd hire him. He's been riding my scooters. Blaze goes to the starting line with me to uh, look at the starting line and stuff, and uh, he told me it would be really cool that if someday he could make enough money and I could buy him a scooter, he could keep in my trailer. It was crazy, because I'd already bought him a scooter. I already had it, and all I had to do was just go pick it up. So. Is it a speed on it? Yeah, it, it goes fast. How fast? I don't know, probably like 40 or 50. Yeah. So don't break Fast enough to get skin up. So, hey, he's going to charge it and then you come back, okay? Anyway, you're welcome, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for putting it together, my guy. Oh, my God. Whenever I can, so I'll see him. I'm like, hey, what's the thing? There you go. He's gone now. Hey, you go going that way. I got Hey, I need to beat my buddy. Huh? Um, you follow Oklahoma, huh? Sylvia, 86 inch reach. My buddy.
buddies helping me from uh, you follow Oklahoma. We call him Big Country. This kid was seven foot tall when he was 14 years old. Loves hunting, lo loves fishing. I tease everybody and tell him he's the noodlingest guy in the world. Hey, I'm just looking at all the people you got in your crew, and I got a guy that noodles. My buddy Tim Silva's here this weekend, and he has a hunting show. And look, those two need to meet. Those dudes are giants. Tim Sylvia is a bad molly hatchet. I don't know how many championships he won in the UFC. I personally went to watch his first slap fight, and oh my God, he slapped the taste out of this old dude's whole body. We're going to get together this winter and do some kind of hunting. Look, I've never been hunting. Those two dudes are professionals, but I guarantee it, it'll be a damn good time. This is Tim Sylvia. How you doing? Nice to meet you. What's your name? Uh, I'm Brian Martin. Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> That's Doc. I'm Look, I'm ready to get back to Galat. Galat is a badass track, smooth. I don't think you could dumb that thing down. It's fast. Last time I was there, my small walk car, the Death Trap, we made it all the way to the Final Four, barely got clipped by Chris Poncia, and uh, look, I'm ready to get back there, and I just need, if I could just get a couple round wins, it'll be a success. So, Galat's coming up next. See y'all there. Thank you.